Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago to Craving Season 2 Right here on CNC3 with your boy Crazy Legs As you all know in Season 1 we did all your favorite street foods But here what's going on is Christmas time So we're making all your favorite Christmas dishes right here in the studio With the best chefs in TNT I can cook, probably you can cook too I surely can cook but I want to learn and we want to teach you all your favorite dishes So let me see what we're cooking today and who we're cooking with Hi everyone, and marie Rambly here from Annie's Culinary Cuisine Limited and today we're here to teach Cameron how to do sweet. We passed the test with savory, so let's see if he can make cake on his phone today. So everyone, with us once again, one of my favorite persons to cook with because she's the boss! Oh, let's make some noise for Annie! Oh God, I'm going to move you. Look at it, look at it. Yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, you got it, and ladies and gentlemen, once I get right here in the studio, one person who I love to cook with, or oh, let make some noise for Annie! Oh yeah, yo! Hey everyone! Annie, how are you since the last time I see you? How have you been? I am fabulous. You're great? You're, yes. You're great-tastic? Everything. Fantabulous. So Annie, here we're going on. What it is since we had so much of spicy food and such things that you know the cocktails is how many Christmas times? What are we doing for Christmas again now? We're doing favorite desserts, mm. traditional Trinidad desserts. Mm. A Trini sponge cake mm. and a cassava pony. Oh, 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 oh. All are we doing? Yes, all oh, are we doing. I see. I mean, I ain't feeling shocked. And we're going and do a twist on a punch of cream and we're putting some sorrel in it. Sorrel. Caribbean flavored sorrel. Sorrel, punch Try nothing? We don't for trying that over here, you never know you might score, you might get a little call from our little partnership and you might make a bottle and everything for you. <laughs> Alright, so before we even start off, as you all know, we have lovely sponsors that will make this possible. I'm going to pick up standard standards, just let me all and give we all the nice equipment and appliances to make all these dishes. Thank you so much, standards. And then we have Caribbean flavors. Yes, Caribbean flavors over here is just give you all these ingredients and the food is just boom. Just Spice up, you know what I mean? Then we have garden food with all their wonderful veggies in our bag. It's fresh in our bag, you would not believe. And today we're using the President Butter, I believe. Ay, ay, ay. Well, let's try it out. It's a French butter premium. It's not a jokey thing. And we also have the sunflower spread, I believe. It's yes. really good. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Champion Chowming. And we're using their baking powder today. Champion baking powder. Well, they didn't know that, so you know them rules real good, so you can imagine the baking powder where we're using this thing. And then after we have School of Practical Accounting where I study on and where you can study on right and get internationally certified. So just like learning to cook, you can learn something and get certified one time. So check them out on Facebook. And for the punch. The punch. We the use punches. it some. Sorrel. Sorrel. We have to rehydrate it and, and incorporate also, it. And the most important thing, carnation milk. In the dance evaporated milk. So thank you very much for these sponsors for making this happen. And the English cheese, ladies and gentlemen, if you love your cheesy dishes, then this is the cheese that you should grate and use if you love bread and cheese. Whatever cheese you love, just try this one out. It is one of the best. So honey, wash hands time and we start to do this thing. Yeah. One time. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Welcome back everyone. So as you all know, we have Annie here with us. This you see we're making Pone Annie. Annie, where the Pone? And also a Trinidad sponge cake and a Sorrel punch of creme. All here in our menu, all here in our menu. Whew. I thought I was going to shake some pongs here, but I lie. So Annie, what is the first step you want to do, girl? Well, the first thing is I'm not making no sponge cake. You are. Uh, all right. Okay. So we start with our president's butter. But I see no sponge. Don't worry. This, is, this will come in when you mix it up. How can you make a sponge if it was sponge? <laughs> so, Alright, so we have the president's butter over here. Butter. Alright, so it's two sticks of butter. So that is um, a little less than a pound because it's a container of milk. Uh, oh, what do you want? What do you want? A, con a container of milk, a stick of, bu a <laughs> stick of butter. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. A loaf of bread, a, a loaf of bread, a, a container, container of milk, and a stick of butter. butter. Ah, you see? Ah, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. So, two so, butters, yeah. Right, so that is almost a pound. So, we put in one cup of sugar, white sugar. This one? Oh, one cup. Yeah. 
it knows. This is the cup people that is, is a bowl. So tell me how much all of this? What, a full cup. A full cup of this? Yeah. Actually one and a half because it's almost a pound of butter. Right, so I'm put half now. Yeah. So I don't like very sweet stuff, so I use... You know? <laughs> no, that is half the amount of sugar people oh, normally no, put. No, 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 no. Trust me. <laughs> okay, serious. so let's hope this don't splatter. Okay, so while I am mixing this, you need to mix the phone. And how are we mixing the phone on? Okay, so... <laughs> one part cassava. So this is cassava. So come around here, this. Not everybody could afford a mixer, you know. True. Yeah, we are a gold school. My mother used to have me beaten with a spoon until it turned creamy. I'm good for you and your mother. And here's the workout. <laughs> yeah, in the gym, not, okay. not for cake. Is that a work for my cake? Yes. So, Alright, so how to do this now? How to do this? Some, it? some arm uh, muscle. Wait, well, this thing real tough, boy. <laughs> you had to make this into a liquid form? No, creamier, lighter. It had to become lighter. So how do you... I don't know if you want to try this. So, what, what, Usually what? I use a spoon, but... So what do you have to do? Like, yeah, just mix it. Like this? Vigorously. Until it gets a little light. Feel light. Like that, right? You know, that's like... The sugar has to melt too. <sighs> Good job! Woo! Well done. So shake it out. Right, and start to mix again. Oh, until it becomes light. It's the eye of tiger. You see, it's getting lighter already. Ooh. Talk to Manny. I remember my whole life. You should beat it for 10 minutes again. Nah, that's that real good. I need what's that? That's real good. That, that's like, like a, like all right, a, all right, like right. a user blender. Alright, alright, alright. So, no sponge cake. Trini sponge cake is mm -hmm. completed without some. Good old gong cinnamon. Gong cinnamon. So we're using a, a quarter teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon from Caribbean yes. flavors. And some vanilla essence from Caribbean flavors. Mm -hmm. How much are this ready for? Uh, half a cup full. Measure with a cup. Yeah. So it's good. Just give that a nice stir. Again? Yes. Gosh, man. Oh. So we have, and we have to get baking powder else. All right, so we add in our eggs now. How much egg do we add? We add in two eggs. Okay, drop it in. I'll mix, mix it up. Mix well. Again, boy. When that incorporated completely, then we'll add the other one. Always crack your eggs in a separate bowl and not straight into your because you'll get shells. No, because oh. if you get a gander one. Oh. So make sure the air good before you add it to your... So how you know you, uh, you get a gander? You doesn't know it have no symptoms. The yolk, you will, it will smell and the yolk will be... I know, but could you tell from the egg outside? No, it'll be heavy. Oh, it'll be heavy? And it, you probably will get a scent. Oh. Ready? Drop it in. I my neck on here. Ooh. So now we're going to add some... Orange juice and we alternating with dry and wet. Mm -hmm. So I will throw the flour for you and you will stir. Mm, and stir. Yeah. Stir. So I'll add the baking powder for you. So we're using a champion baking powder. Mm -hmm. A half a tablespoon. Oh boy! We're greasing the dish with the sunflower. All flour. the corners. So when the cake is finished, you can turn it over and it will slide out. Mm. And you can put Hopefully. a little... Hopefully. <laughs> well, the next trick is you, after you grease it, you put a little bit of flour on you. Pour this in. All right, here we're going. I had to hold this, so you had to pour this in. Okay, this is a bowl greasy right now. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Cool. Yeah? It's a feed in the light. 
yes. I hope it come out good. Aye. So I had to make a cake and bring it and all I got to squeeze in that into the video. So we have the bowl over here. Mm -hmm. So what we, we need to do no here? Flour. So I'm just melting some of the sunflower oil while you're mixing mm -hmm. the sunflower butter. So we get so while that is melting, put ah. in your cassava. So this is the cassava. How much cassava yeah. is this, honey? So, well, it depends on the size you're making. So we have one part cassava, half part coconut, and quarter part pumpkin. Right, so that's the cassava. So that is the yeah? basic measurements that I use. Mm -hmm. So what's so next? All the coconut. All the coconut. Grounded coconut. Yeah. Right. And half the pumpkin. So a trick half? is yeah. Okay. A trick is you freeze the, peel the cassava, freeze it and put it in the food processor mm -hmm. and it gets pureed like that. Mm -hmm. And you blend your coconut with a little bit of water and you strain, you keep straining that milk and you blend the coconut, um, the pumpkin, and if you're using sweet potato, you blend everything with the same liquid you use to blend the coconut. Okay. So it prevents, it keeps your fingers intact from grating. Mm. I don't grate. All right, so what else after going this? All right, so we need some flavoring. Take a spatula and mix it up. Oh, mixing all this? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's a quick mix. Put a cup of sugar. Cup of I brown like sugar? brown sugar for phone. Nice. Some Caribbean flavors. Ground nutmeg. Grounded? Yep, ground. Nice. Like all the plates. Oh, it's my phone already. You don't like it. I can have phones now. Just put a half, a quarter teaspoon, cinnamon. Mike, you can bake things like this? You can do baking like this? Yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> and because cassava and those things ferment, I always put a little bit of black pepper. It is unusual in a sweet dish, but trust me on that. Right, and... Just trying to get everything evenly mixed. Yeah. And for the stickiness in a pond, some condensed milk. Mmm. This is what gives it the stickiness. The pull. Stickiness. Mm-hmm. So there's much more natural flavors in a pond. So a pond is like a healthy thing, yeah. Again, it's light into nutmeg and cinnamon and stuff in it. Okie dokes, you ready? Yep, bring thing. There we go. So this is where we add the butter. Yeah, just add the melted butter. Stir it easy so you wouldn't mess your clothes up. Pone spoils super fast. Mm. So once it's cool, you put it in the fridge. That is hot. So the sorrel is boiling and it have to sleep for an hour, you see? Right, so he's going to sleep, baby. No point to sleep, right? So we have the cake and we have the pool. We're going to put it in the beak, wait an hour, make a little punch, and we'll come back and lay all the noise. So let's pack it in one time, Annie. What's the temperature yep. we need? 325. 325 for how long? Until golden burger and you stick a toothpick or anything in the middle and it comes out clean. Boom. Let and the pool usually leaves the sides. Nice. Leave the sides. Well, let me see how it go. go. Right, 325 inside. Let me pump. All right, Annie, so it's punch time. Yeah. So, wait, we had the sorrel there. Melt down nice. Pearl sugar, you say just to cut a little flavor. But yeah. do we do this thing? Yeah, we're making a virgin colada. All right, so. Oh, God. Oh, sorry, this I did. How long I had I never had one of these things before. But. So, we're blending this firstly, I see. The sorrel. We just need a little puree just to get that mild sour flavor. Because mm -hmm. you want to... So we strain it right now? Yeah, we don't want no particles. 
You don't want no strong, strong, too strong sour flavor. Yeah. So that's all we're using. I'm just starting with that and I'm gonna put the rest to straight here. So mm -hmm. if we need any more, yeah, we'll just. I wanna like some alcohol in it, but I just wanna see. So now we're going into the carnation milk right now? Yep. Alright. Same procedure, just we're doing no eggs and no alcohol. Mm -hmm. A little twist. And it's straight in. Milk and fruit. Get some condensed milk. Huh? Oh, no. I thought it would get a nice red color. Remember the tartness of the sorrel, you might have, a, that's why I added some sugar in it, just to break it down a little bit. We're treating it just as we will treat when we're making sorrel, getting some guang cinnamon from Caribbean flavors. Mm. And I always put clove to boil my sorrel, so I'm gonna use some guang clove as well from Caribbean flavors. Ice it up. Yes, there is. Oh. Just want to but you ain't sticking. Stand by. You ain't sticking, boy. I was expecting a red of flavor, a color. But not too bad. Voila! There you all have it. Sponge cake porn! Annie, and we have our sorrel, virgin sorrel. Punch your creme. Punch your creme. Well, yeah, you know what I mean? So, and first of all, let's take a little knock to this. We work very hard. Ooh, really sorrel, yeah, nice. nice. Fruity, milky, it's nice. Really work out good. And as you see, sorrel from. A new creation yeah, from Zambrave and Savers and Annie. Ah, so nice. <laughs> oh, sorrel, the sorrel used there. All right, Mr. Hello. Oh, uh, uh, dance there, but otherwise it's really nice. <laughs> All right, honey. So the cakes, well, you. You wanna do the honors? No, no, no. All our whisking and thing, no, 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 my heart and thing, big and strong right now. So you go through, see what we're going to cake. See, you see, you see the whisking was good. See the whisking and what it was going through. All Ooh, spongy. Cake. And you was wondering where the sponge was. Yes, yes, yes. See the way, look the sponge. And I like the crispy edges. You like the, the, the crusty little edges the a little bit? crusty little edges. Oh, like it's them. very spongy. Look at that. Good job. Spongy balls. Ooh, look. Hey, oh, hey. So it's hot. Hey, hey. Ali, what's that? What's that? What's that? I'm impressed. Yes, man. So that's the cake, Annie. Dig into my pawn. Dig into my pawn, Annie. Dig into my pawn. See what we're going to do. Seems sticky and nice. As you all know, you know, sometimes it's hard to get a little cool. It'd be better when it's cool. You know what I mean? It is pull. I like my edges a little hard. Yeah, yeah. That is the stickiness. All right, Annie, you see my cake? Cut up good. And the pawn. So here we're going to try the pawn first. I'm going to try my pool on you. Perfection. Pone perfection. Pone perfection. Pone perfection. Ay, ay, ay. Tasting just like how you will make it? Yeah, it All does. Right. So I could please some people when they come and make a kiss on something? Nice. Definitely. Now the moment of truth is the cake. The cake needs cooling. It's still smoking. But yeah, it's still hot. It's still hot, but I just want to know. How the cake is, it's spongy. It's, it's so nice and soft and still smoking. My mother will be proud. Do you burn yourself? I know, hot sponge cake. Sip on your mouth. <laughs> mm. Try. We I need some more. I need some more cake. Yeah. I need some more. Um, oh, we're 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 coming up. I die real whisking at you. All right, all right, all right. So I need how much you give me for my phone? How much you score? Me on my phone, need it. I got a nine for the phone. Woo hoo hoo! And a five for the cake. Five for the cake. We I need more for my cake. Girl. Mom. Mom mix it. I need it to be lighter. Oh gosh, I need more. We want to do, girl. And I need as usual, yeah. Thank Drink you for having me. Drink is awesome. Mm-hmm. 
So there you all have it. Pone and Annie and sponge cake and virgin colada. Sorrel. Sorrel. Punch of crab. Punch of crab. Something that Annie made over there. So Annie, thank you again for being here so much. We love what you always create for us. We appreciate your time. And thank without you, you this show would not be possible because you want to be chefs over here. So creative in your design, in your arts, I would say. We need to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are doing pretty awesome. So Annie, thank you so much thank for coming here for on season me. two of Cravings. And here you have it today with Annie. We made pone sponge cake and we made sorrel punch of creme virgin. Where did she make in her own uniqueness? Or let's check it out, try it for yourselves. But most importantly, we want to thank you, the viewers, for logging in and enjoying season two. But we must pick up our sponsors. Firstly, standards for being here with our standards, appliances, and all the things that they give us. We will not be able to cook these things. And our friends at Caribbean Flavors, all the spices and ingredients to create these unique dishes. And also our friends at Amco Garden Foods, fresh produce in our bag. You think you don't believe it? Go buy it and you'll see for yourself. Then we have the English cheese. Always use if you love your cheese, put it in, you'll enjoy it. And we have the butter from President and also the sunflower spread. Try it all people. And our friends at Carnation for making this wonderful, wonderful trip from season one into season two to help us make these awesome punches. And most importantly, our friends at School of Practical Accounting because I'm studying their online, which you can do too. So I'm learning to cook. You can study online and be internationally certified. And Champion Chow Ming, the best Chow Ming in TNT, in the world. Edward Baby Harry, thank you all so much for your Chow Ming and also your baking powder. So there you all have it. Look out for the next episode next week. And we love you all so much. We're gone.